all the living organisms they are made up of cells and cells are the structural and functional unit of life the cells they are actually divided into two types one is prokaryotes and the other one is eukaryotes these words they are made up of greek words two greek words combined to make one word here we have pro and karyotes pro word means before and karyon word come from the greek word karyon which means nucleus Similarly, in the case of eukaryotes, we also find this word here, which means the nucleus. While the, this word, you, it means true. In other words, the prokaryotes are the organisms which came before nucleus. It means that these organisms come before the development of true nucleus. That is why they do not have nucleus. Prokaryotes come before, eukaryotes comes after. So, with the evolution, the prokaryotes, when they evolve into the eukaryotes, they have the true nucleus. To understand this concept, we can take the examples of bacteria and plant cells. Hey learners, welcome to Ahmed Coaching and this is your teacher Anam. Today we are going to talk about the prokaryotes and the eukaryotes. So, let's dive into the topic. Um... These two types of cells we can discuss by understanding the differences they have. First of all, if we talk about the differences, we talk about shape or you can say the structure. The prokaryotes, they are very simple in structure. As you can see this diagram, the bacteria. It is very simple have just small amount or small number of organelles while the eukaryotes they are complex in nature as you can see the plant cells they have so many organelles inside their cytoplasm so the prokaryotes they are very simple while the eukaryotes they are very complex in nature the other difference is that definitely the nucleus on the basis we have divided these into two parts the nucleus in the prokaryotes is absent and their DNA or the heredity material just floats inside this cytoplasm so here the blue one this is actually their DNA and here this is nucleus you can see the compact shape of nucleus enclosed by cell membrane or nuclear membrane while in this case the dna is just floating inside this cytoplasm so the nucleus in the eukaryotes is present while in the prokaryotes it's absent let's talk about the size the size of the prokaryotes is very small while the eukaryotes they are large in size in fact they are 10x larger than the prokaryotic cells the prokaryotic cells they have 0.1 to 5 micrometer inside they are 0.1 to 5 micrometer in size while the plant cells as we are taking the example of plant cells so the eukaryotes they are about 10 to 100 micrometer in size the other difference is ribosomes the ribosomes which is the machinery used to make uh, proteins they both have the ribosomes but the difference is that the ribosomes present in these uh, you know, prokaryotic cells they are very small but the ribosomes present in the plant cells they are very large in this case they are 70s and in this case they are 
S. S is actually a Swedberg unit which is used to measure the uh, size of an ordinal leaf. Okay, so here you can see these are the ribosomes. And in this case, these are the ribosomes. The next difference is cell wall. Both have cell walls, but the difference is the composition of the cell wall. In the case of prokaryotes, the cell wall is actually made, of, made up of peptidoglycan. While in the case of eukaryotes or the plant cell, they are made up of cellulose or chitin. So the peptidoglycan is actually a polymer which is made up of amino acids and sugar. Here the outer boundary is actually the cell wall. And here this is cell wall. The chitin compound is present in fungi, not in plants. The plants have cellulose material in their cell wall. Then comes the cell organelles. In the prokaryotes, no membrane bounded organelles are present, but in the case of eukaryotes, organelles have a cell membrane. As you can see here, this is Golgi bodies, this is endoplasmic reticulum, and this is here vacuole they all have the cell membrane around them so the eukaryotes they have cell membrane bounded organelles but in the case of prokaryotes they do not have any uh, cell organelles which has cell membrane how about the number of cells in the case of prokaryotes they are just one cell just like bacteria but in the case of eukaryotes there may be one cell or there may be many cells like plant cells animal cells they just combine together to make tissues just this so they are unicellular or maybe multicellular but the prokaryotes they are always unicellular so these are the basic difference between the prokaryotes and the eukaryotes but definitely there are some similarities between both the groups for example they both have cytoplasm here cytoplasm is also present both groups have cell membrane This also has cell membrane. Obviously ribosomes is present in both the group of cells and the DNA is present in both group of cells. So these are small similarities between them but so many differences between both group of cells. So I hope that you understand this topic very well. If you have any question you can ask me in the comment section below. I will definitely give you the answer of this and if you need more material or worksheet related to this topic you can uh, check the link in the description below. If you like this video please give it a big thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. Thank you very much.